Hey, what's going on guys? It's Alan Kushmarko with Best Homes Real Estate. And today I wanna to share with you three ways on how you can get listings right now in the current market conditions on the budget. All right, three ways of getting the listings on a budget right now uh, in the seller's market. So number one, HomeBot. You gotta use a HomeBot, guys. If you don't have a HomeBot, research it. Most of the lenders out there will actually offer it to you. I think it's like $25 a month. What I love about it is the fact that when you upload your entire sphere, your entire past client list to it, it does the job for you afterwards. It will send out an email, email on a monthly basis, sometimes on a bi-monthly basis to your clients, and it will let them know how much their house has increased in value, how much equity do they have in their house, and what their current interest rate is, how much they owed in terms of the principal, right? It's a cool tool to utilize, guys. I usually get anywhere between six to seven listings out of it a year, right? I get CMA requests, uh, my lender gets um, refi requests, right? It's a pretty neat tool. Again, it's like $25, you upload that list, you set it and forget it, right? So that's number one. Number two, if you guys into open houses, and I strongly suggest you guys do open houses even during these conditions right now, if you find one listing, but let's say you do have a listing, definitely do an open house. We had an agent that had an open house this weekend. He had 35 people that showed up in like two and a half hours, 35 people to the open house, right? It was huge. Uh, but the cool thing about the open houses is the fact that before you actually put out the signs, let's say your open house is from 11 to three, right? What you wanna do is like at around nine o'clock, you wanna get there, you wanna get set up inside, and then you wanna go outside and knock on the neighbor's doors, introduce yourself, do like 25 or 30 doors, introduce yourself, hand them your information, maybe a flyer, a business card, and then ask them like, hey, have you thought about selling your home? The market is on fire, I'm working with a bunch of buyers, right? I was just wondering if you know anyone or you are thinking about possibly selling a home. Now, guess what's gonna happen? Most of them will probably gonna tell you no, but you're gonna have maybe one or two people that says, you know what, we're kind of thinking about it, it just kind of depends on our situation. Maybe they're retiring, Maybe something else has to happen. The point is, the fact that you actually were there, you introduce yourself, you hand them your information, you're gonna be able to make a connection with them, get their information, put them in your database, and start nurturing them, okay? I usually used to get like one or two listings a month from just door knocking before I would start my open house. And again, it doesn't cost you really that much to do so. Guys, again, you're there, might as well just introduce yourself, invite them to the open house, you're not selling anything, you're just inviting them to the open house, okay? So that's number two. Number three, uh, for sale by owners. So we have agents in a company that utilize this uh, lead source. In fact, I had an agent last week that got a for sale by owner, $675,000 listing uh, down in Queen Creek, Queen Creek, and she was super excited about it. But I mean, for sale by owners still list with the agents, right? Now you gotta be a little bit creative with your value proposition and with your commissions. But if your messaging resonates with a for sale by owner, and if you're doing it consistently, right, you're gonna get one to two listings a month from for sale by owners, and they will pay you commission, guys. Right? You gotta be very creative, and we teach you how to do that. If you're interested in getting a um, couple of videos that I've done about for sale by owners, uh, the script that I use and uh, the objections that I, the way I handle them, uh, just comment below or, or send me an email. I'll be more than help, 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 uh, more than <laughs> happy to do so. But the point being is the fact that it doesn't cost you anything to really get the for sale by owner list. Um, my gosh, I mean, you can probably still get one from for sale uh, by owner.com. You can get it on Zillow. You can buy one for like 45 or $50 dollars a month from Landwise uh, or um, Red X or Mojo sells. I mean, they're all over the place, right? You can get those lists, call them or have a good conversation. Most of them will have a conversation with you. Most of them will actually allow you to stop by their house and check them out. Um, so uh, again, like we have agents that consistently uh, list one to two, three houses every single month for for sale by owners and it still works and it doesn't cost you that much to do it. It's just a little bit of sweat equity on your rent and maybe a little bit of pride, but that's okay. If you guys wanna list houses, I mean, you gotta go and make it happen, right? And that's something that that you wanna do. So those are the three things that you definitely wanna do, guys. Again, HomeBot, um, something, set it and forget it. Open houses, if you guys doing that, door knock before you actually do an open house and then for sale by owners. 
I hope this was helpful to you guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you do have any questions, feel free to, again, comment below or send me an email. More than happy to help you guys. All right, take care. Bye.